Welcome to our lesson on using the splitters in WinUI. Today, we'll explore how to use the splitter to divide the grid and manage the sizes of elements in your applications. To begin, in order to use the grid splitter, you need to install the library via NuGet. Follow these steps. Right-click on your project in the Solution Explorer. Select Manage NuGet Packages from the context menu. In the opened window, navigate to the Browse tab. Search for communitytoolkit.winui.ui controls in the search field. To use the grid splitter control in the XAML markup file, you need to add a namespace where this control is located. Let's take a look at the following example code. In this example, we have a grid divided into three columns. Each column contains content, text blocks, images, and grid splitter. We use splitters to divide the content in columns, allowing us to adjust the sizes of elements. We start by defining the grid structure with three columns, where the central column has a width of auto, and the others take up the available space. Then, we place text blocks and images in the first column. We add splitters between columns using the grid splitter element, enabling users to adjust the sizes of elements according to their preferences. In the right column, we use nested grids with three rows to place content in each of them. Using splitters also allows us to adjust the sizes of elements in each row. Thus, using splitters in WinUI provides us with greater flexibility in managing the layout and sizes of elements in our applications. That concludes our lesson. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your WinUI projects.